Barnet 2, Eastleigh 0. Great win. Dean, what are your thoughts? Like I say, it's the winter months. It's gritty. It probably wasn't the prettiest game. Pitch is excellent here. Uh, they had a slight bit of bad news before the game and losing the kid Abrahams, so that was like a bit of fortunate for us. And we've had a nightmare tonight with injuries. Uh, we've had a couple of players that have had to come off. Uh, Ryan obviously picked up an injury when he scored his goal. And uh, we've made a forced change with Dom. It looks like it could be his hamstring, I think it is. So, yeah, it's, in that case, it's been, a, it's been a frustrating night, but team performance today. And I've said all along to the squad, you're all going to be needed at different stages. Um, and to be fair to the boys, I thought we defended excellently. We limited them, especially second half, to very, very minimal chances. And we created several ourselves. So um, we just showed a different way to play tonight. And uh, that's what it takes. It's, uh, like I say, it's the end of January. I think we've gone now sort of three months unbeaten. And they, uh, these haven't lost at all here, to be fair. I think they've lost two this year here. And it was to Wrexham and Notts County. Um, and they drew against Yeovil. They've won every other game. So these are a very good side, a good experienced manager, well organised. But from their point of view, top, top, top performance tonight. As you mentioned, a couple of injuries today. Don Revan, really unfortunate for him, especially after the season he's had, could only last 10 minutes. You're saying it's a hamstring? Yeah, look, we're very lucky. He'll be in tomorrow, he'll be scanned. Uh, we're so lucky we've got the facilities we have at the Hive. So uh, that we'll get an assessment on that ASAP, see how it goes over the next 48 hours. And then obviously, Scoring his goal, Ryan, who's a huge player for us. Um, and Tom's a huge player for us as well. So Ryan's got a sort of a bang on the inside of his, his calf um, as he scored. The lads come through and clattered him. So um, so we'll just see how both of them are. Um, we're blessed sort of with our medical facility. So we'll see how they are over the next 48 hours. But, um, just want to go back on the performance, really, to be honest with you. That is a gritty, tough performance we've shown today. Um, to back up what we did on Saturday as well. Um, it shows the togetherness we have and I would really want to mention our supporters I know you'll probably ask me a few more questions but our supporters drove us forward at different times we had a bomb back when it was 1-0 with a bombardment the corners we didn't clear the ball properly but we dealt with it in the end and uh, I thought like everyone to a man stood up and showed what they're all about they showed the love they have for the football club and that creative and winning spirit we showed that winning spirit today which was huge they're in fine voice today. Going on to that first goal, great run from Marvin Armstrong, getting away from his man and then to find De Havilland. Yeah, look, brilliant from Marv. He's got that pace, you know, which is, it's very hard to find pace like that. And he's burst through, he showed good composure. Um, he could have had a hat-trick himself, really, Marv, couldn't he? You know, he played sort of advanced in the eight role. Um, he's still learning the game. He's still getting used to full-time football. But it's hard, he's, after the first 20 minutes he got the grips of the game and then sort of the last 15 minutes of the first half he's outstanding and the second half he's outstanding and I thought it was a really good performance from him and every game he's getting better and better and better. And then going on to our second goal, another corner, that second goal, corner we've scored in two games, is that something that we've been working on on the training ground? Yeah, we always work on set pieces. A delivery, it's like the delivery completed runs. Um, we could have scored from another corner as well, we had a good opportunity to do that as well. Um, you know, you, We've got players that want to head the ball, they want to attack the ball. Um, so they're the little one percenters and they give you the advantage. And uh, So yeah, great delivery from Beardy and uh, yeah, great completed run at the back post on Wintz. And they're my favourite goals to be honest with you. So we do walk on set pieces of course, yeah, it's a natural thing to do. And while goal scorers will always get the headlines, yet another clean sheet for the side today. Yeah, yeah. I think they had a chance at the end of the first half, which was a good chance, sort of on the counter attack. Can't really. Did they have one second half? I think they might have had one second half. To come here and limit a good side like Eastleigh to sort of two or three chances is, from our point of view, is brilliant. I think we'd six or seven. So um, I thought we fully deserved our victory. And uh, yeah, clean sheets. Clean sheets bring you success. That's the backbone of any team's success. And uh, we've managed to get another one, which is excellent. And finally, you already sort of touched upon it. The fans are in fine voice today, especially after the game got called off twice in the last week. Over 106 of them to turn up today. Great support. Yeah, we really appreciate the positive support. Uh, they've been outstanding this season and we're really giving them something to sing about now. So, 20 league games to go, one game left in the trophy. We continue to take it one game at a time. Hopefully we'll see the guys again up at Scunny on Friday night. Um, that's not going to be an easy game. It's going to be a really tough game. We'll probably speak about that in the next couple of days. They've got a new manager, so uh, Jimmy Dean. So, congratulate him on his, on his new opportunity and the opportunity he gets a scun top. So, yeah, from our point of view, um, we'll enjoy tonight and I hope our supporters enjoy the ride home because I know it's very difficult to get out on Tuesday nights around the M25 and down the M3. So that's for them. Um, keep sticking together, keep with us and uh, hopefully we can move on to the next game and bring more success. Dean, congratulations and thank you for your time. Yes,